welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss how to evaluate real definite integrals by control integration. So a large number of integrals. of real definite integrals post evaluation by the usual methods of integration. Become tedious. evaluate so some integrals are difficult or are much more tasking to evaluate using the normal methods of integration in calculus but this may some time Easily integrate, uh, integrated. By using. Which is theorem of uh, residues. That's what you note. For finding Good. So for finding integrals, we take a closed curve C and then find poles of the function f of z and then calculate the residues are the poles which only lies within the curve C. Then we use the formula integral along C, f of z dz is given by 2 pi i 
times sum of residues. of the function f of z so that's the formula that we use once we have gotten the poles and then we identify all those poles within the curve c and then use the formula integration along this curve C of the function f of z is 2 pi times the sum of all the residues within the curve C. So we call the curve C contour and the process integrating along the curve C is called Contour integration. So that's how we work out some of the integrals using contour integration on the Apache integral formula for or integral integration theorem for residues. So our main concentration will be integration round unit circle. of type so this is what we are going to take some time and discuss integrals which are of the type integrating from 0 to 2 pi f of cos theta sin theta d theta where f of cos theta sin theta is a rational function of cosine of theta and sine of theta. So the interest is to convert this sine theta and cos theta in terms of the function or the variable z. So convert sine of theta, cos of theta into Z. So we know that E raised to power I theta I is cosine of theta plus I sine of theta and E raised to negative theta i is cosine of theta minus i sine theta. So you can call this one equation one, call this one equation two. 
this one and two is from definition. So if I say equation one plus equation two, uh, this implies equation one plus equation two is e raised power theta i plus e raised power minus theta i is twice cosine of theta, which implies that cosine of theta can be written as e raised power theta i plus e raised power minus theta i divided by two, or you can say a half into e raised power theta i plus e raised power minus i theta. Since we are on a unit circle, then by definition, any complex number Z in exponential form is given by R e raised power theta i will be the same as e raised power theta i since r is one on a unit circle. But the radius is one. So ie, we are saying that z is the same as e raised power theta i. So which means e raised power negative theta i is the same as z raised power negative one, which is the same as one over z. So let's call this one equation three. So therefore, equation three becomes cos of theta is the same as a half into z plus one over z. So this expression of cosine of z, uh, cosine of theta in terms of z on this unit circle. Call this one pi. And then now we added one and two. Let's now get the difference between one and two. Equation one minus equation two will be given by e raised power i theta minus e raised power minus i theta or theta i. So when you are getting the difference, cosine theta and cosine theta cancels out. So i sine theta minus minus, so be plus two i sine theta. Which implies sine of theta alone will be given by e raised power i theta minus e raised power minus i theta over two i, or I can write one over two i into e raised power theta i minus e raised power negative theta i. But using these values for z and one over z, we have sine of theta is given by one over two i z minus one over z. So this is the value of sine theta in terms of z variable. So call this one question six. So if we call this what is given in general as 
alpha integration of this type. If you call this one, uh, or call this one star, then you say the integral star, the integrand in star is converted into a function of z using equations five and six. So while I sign theta, I put one over two i times z minus one over z. And where there is cosine of theta, I put a half into z plus one over z. Now, since z is given by e raised power theta i, this is on a unit circle. Since the value of r is one, it implies that dz, now using chain rule, we get i e raised power theta i d theta, which means d theta will be replaced by dz over i e raised power theta i. But because we know e raised power theta i z, so that means d theta is the same as dz over i z. So these are the substitutions that we make in star. Uh, so we make the substitutions cosine of theta equals to a half into z plus one over z sine of theta equals to one over two i into z minus one over z and the theta equals to the z over i z into star and then apply the Cauchy placed theorem to evaluate the integral. To evaluate that integral given stuff. So we are going to give a series of examples to illustrate how we carry out uh, this control integration by applying the Cauchy residue theorem. Thank you.